So this video is going to be about nonlinear sequences. So a nonlinear sequence means that the difference between two consecutive terms is not constant. So for example, like our example in the last video about linear sequences, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is linear because the difference between each term is just 2. But for example, the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 is nonlinear because here we're multiplying each term by 2. The difference between them is not constant. The difference here is 2, then 4, then 8, then 16. So some examples of nonlinear sequences. A Fibonacci sequence, how these work is they create new terms by adding the previous two terms together. So if we're starting here, we have 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. Another example is geometric sequences, which increase or decrease by a constant multiplier, i.e. this sequence here is multiplying each term by 2, a constant multiplier. So let's do an example. So we're asked to calculate the first and second differences of this sequence. Now if you're not sure what that means, I'm going to show you right now. So what we do is we calculate the difference between all the terms. So the difference between 8 and 23 is 15. The difference between 23 and 48 is 25. 48 and 83 is 35. 83 and 128 is 45. These are what's known as the first differences. And the second differences are just the differences between the first differences. So the difference between 15 and 25 is 10, 10, 10. And that, those are the second differences. And these are going to be very useful later on. So the second differences of a quadratic sequence, meaning the highest power is squared, that's what quadratic means, the second differences of a quadratic sequence, un equals an squared plus bn plus c, are equal to 2a. And this is really useful when we're trying to find formulas for the nth term. So we'll do an example to illustrate this now. So we're finding a formula for the nth term of this sequence, 8, 11, 16, 23, 32. With questions like these, you always want to find the first and second differences with nonlinear sequences. So the difference here is 3, then 5, then 7 then 9. So those are the first differences and the second differences is just 2. All of these are different by 2. So this is where what I've written above comes into play. The second differences of a quadratic sequence un equals a n squared plus b n plus c are equal to 2a. In other words, 2 is equal to 2a in our sequence. So we're trying to find the formula for the nth term. So we know it's going to be of the form un equals a n squared plus b n plus c. And we're told here that 2 is equal to 2a. So this just means that a equals 1. So we know that our sequence is of the form un equals 1 n squared plus b n plus c. So if we write out, if we do a table again, so n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so n squared, we know that a is 1. If u n is n squared, we just get 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And our actual sequence is 8, 11, 16, 23, 32. Just by inspection, we can see that the difference between the terms here is just 7, right? So what we get is that un is equal to n squared, which is this, just plus 7. Because you're just adding 7 to get to our sequence from n squared. So un is equal to n squared plus 7. So in this example, it just so happened that b was equal to 0, which made life somewhat easier. So now let's go through an example where b is non-zero and how we go about solving that. So similar question, we're, we're finding a formula for the nth term of this non-linear sequence. So you do the same thing as always. You find the first differences and the second differences. So 8, 14, 
20, 26. The second difference is being 6, 6, 6. And if we just remember our important fact, the second differences of a quadratic sequence, un equals a n squared plus b n plus c, are equal to 2 times a. In other words, our second differences are equal to 2a. So 2a is equal to 6. So a must be 3. Our expression for un is of the form 3n squared plus bn plus c. So if we do the same thing we did before, we write out n, we write out 3n squared, and our sequence, which we're trying to find the expression for, so 3n squared would just be 3 times 1 squared is 3, 3 times 2 squared is 12, 3 times 3 squared is 27, 3 times 4 squared is 48, and 3 times 5 squared is 75. And our sequence is 0, 8, 22, 42, 68. But what we notice here is that there's no common difference between the terms because the difference here is 3, here is 4, here is 5, here is 6, and here is 7. So we can't just add on a value C to get our answer. This means we're also going to have to calculate the value of B. So what we can do is we can rearrange this and say that Bn plus C is equal to Un minus 3n squared because we're trying to calculate the values of b and c and we know both of these we know our sequence and we know what 3n squared as a sequence is we can say that bn plus c is equal to 0 minus 3 8 minus 12 22 minus 27 42 minus 48 you can see a pattern here and now we do the exact same thing that we did when we're, we were calculating our linear sequences. The common difference is minus 1. So this tells us that b is equal to minus 1. And finally, we can then sub that value in to tell us that c is equal to un minus 3n squared plus n. So if we just take the case when n is 1, because that would be the easiest, we just get that c is equal to u1, which is 0, minus 3 times 1 squared, which is 3, plus 1. So c is equal to minus 2. And so we've got our value for c, our value for b, and our value for a up here. Given that un is in the form a n squared plus b n plus c, it is equal to a, which is 3 n squared, plus Sorry, I should say minus n minus 2. And that's our formula for that at the time. Thanks for watching.